hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> i know i sound very dead but i'm just trying not to scream i have a tendency of screaming when i'm talking to the camera i don't know why but as you noticed i'm speaking english and on my if you don't know on my previous videos i speak swedish because that's my native language i feel like i want my channel to be more international and more including to other people not just swedish people so i decided that i'm gonna make videos in english and i don't have a problem speaking english um it's just that now when i speak to the camera it feels weird but we gucci <laughs> we gucci aware you know what I mean? so i actually look very dead i wanted to dress up a little bit more maybe like do a makeup look but i really don't have the energy for that today i really don't so without further ado subscribe to my channel comment like share all of that okay so today i'm gonna talk about i changed my life and got more present it could be more in the moment because it's a lot of talks about like you should be in the moment and you should be present right and you can be present when like you're doing mindfulness like i've been trying to practice mindfulness for a while now and it works good um and maybe like a little bit of yoga and stuff but i think this will help a lot so i want to give you some advice or like what I did to be more present in my life. So, first step. It's only first step because I'm gonna tell you the one thing that I did. I, that's why I haven't been as um, active on YouTube as well. Cause I've had a lot of stuff in my life and blah, 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 everything drama. <laughs> no, it's not drama, but I, it, a lot of a lot of things was just going on, right? And we always pro procrastinate. What what the Procra procrastinate? Whatever we think a lot, okay. And we think a lot, and um, I feel like that's because we have a lot of distractions. We have Instagram, we have Snapchat, we have Twitter, we have YouTube, we have TikTok, we have. Facebook, we got all of these social media platforms, platforms, oh my God, I'm so sorry, platforms. And um, it's stressful because you always have something going on. You're always having this dopamine kicks in your, in your brain all the time. And one day I just got so tired of it. And uh, I've been having these moments um, a lot. But if you're somebody that's watching TikTok, this, section here in this video is for you you just you okay nobody else you. okay yeah so recently i removed my tiktok and i love to make tiktoks like i have a tiktok account i'll link it down below if you want to watch it i have a tiktok account right and i watch a lot of tiktoks I felt like it consumed my life like every break I had I watched TikTok I opened TikTok I was waiting for the bus open TikTok I was sitting on the train TikTok cooking TikTok on the toilet TikTok waking up TikTok everything TikTok, TikTok. it's always TikTok okay and I know it sounds funny now but it's not it's actually crazy okay so I was like you know what I'm not gonna do this because I love TikTok, but it's a reason why it's called TikTok, right? TikTok. It's taking your time. And I felt like I have so much else to do, and I want to put my time in something that means something, not just watching other, other people's lives. And like, fine, you learn stuff, you learn things, but it was consuming too much of my time, and it stressed me out. So that's one because I feel like when I removed TikTok, I had so much time on my hands. And that's crazy because that's just one app, right? But that was the app that I used the most. So when I removed TikTok, 
uh, I felt like, damn, I have so much time on my hands. Like, what should I do now? Like, if I want to go to the toilet and do, you know, big business, number two, what should I do, right? Um, so, yeah. But then I noticed that I got less stressed and I just, I just was more in the moment, like, watching people walk around if I'm on the train and... You know, just speaking to people, being present. And when I say being present, it doesn't mean like you're not gonna do anything. But like, I love to listen to music when I am on my way home or whatever. And you can listen to music, right? But if somebody talks to you, if somebody approaches you, you're still available. You see them, right? So that's what I mean when I'm saying be present. You're being present. One thing. But then I noticed that. I, I did like go, in, go on Instagram a lot, but when I removed TikTok, I was on Instagram a lot because they have these reels, right? And the reels was basically from TikTok. So I was like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, what am I doing? Um, and uh, so I had to switch that up. But I noticed a big difference on Instagram reels and TikToks. Because TikToks, they can be, it's, it's about the algorithm, right? The phone saves information about what you search on and whatever. And then it puts on, it puts on the same thing on TikTok, you know. So they know what you want to see. Um, but, you know, I felt like TikTok was like very shallow. Like it was a lot about your... You, it's a lot like you can compare to other people and I noticed that it's starting to affect my um, confidence and my self-love vibes, you know. So, uh, and the Instagram Reels, it's more like food, um, advice, uh, more or maybe like fun things. It was a different type of vibe than on TikTok, right? So, that was the big difference. Um, and so I started to, after I deleted TikTok, I started to watch, uh, I took a break, right? And then I started to watch the Instagram Reels, but not as frequently as I watched TikTok, right? Uh, so I felt like that helped, that transformed me a lot, I'm not gonna lie. I was more present with people that I love in my life. Um, I started talking to strangers, and if you know, like, in Sweden, you don't do that, <laughs> that's like the number one rule that nobody talks about you don't talk to strangers like you don't talk to people besides you you don't you don't talk to people right um but i felt like i was more outgoing i could talk to people you know and that's a plus and so that's the way you're gonna change your life or the thing is i didn't want to remove tiktok forever i just wanted to make sure that I had a balanced relationship with it, right? So it doesn't consume everything in my life, basically. Um, and the second is just removing your social media in a whole. And I did this, it was maybe like two years ago, whatever, something. It was a long time ago. Um, so I removed every social media that I had, right? Um, and that was crazy because you feel very isolated, but kind of in a good way, but you also feel that you're missing out a lot. And that was like, that, that feeling disappears after a while, that FOMO. Oh, really? Somebody decided to drill when I'm making a YouTube video. I hope you can hear me because I'm actually pissed. So. Removing your social media in a whole, right? You feel very, you feel like you're missing stuff. You feel like you don't, you don't know the language anymore. Like, you know, I was doing them TikTok languages and, you know, all of that stuff. And I couldn't do it because I haven't seen it. So I only had like the old stuff, but I missed a lot of it, right? But I feel like um, to change your perspective in life and um, just being more present in your life. It will lead to less stress, being more present, you will feel a calm. You'll, a calm, you'll feel calm basically. You'll feel calm and you'll basically feel a little bit of peace 
in your life right because now you have so much time you you start to get creative like i, I love to draw before i love to do all of i not like a lot of stuff before right and i stopped because other things consume you you get you get older and you have job and you have you know you got you got a job you got to make that money you got you got your school you, like everything okay you got a rent to pay and all that shit so it's different but still though that time you got from not watching social media you're going to do something productive with it and i'm not meaning productive as you have to do something, right? You don't have to do anything, and that's the thing. You don't have to do anything, and that's the greatest part, because often we use social media to fill the time that we don't do anything, but we don't spend the time with ourselves, or we don't spend the time, like, of, I'm sorry, bro, like, We don't spend the time. <laughs> what the fuck, bitch? We we don't spend the time with ourselves, right? And that that's like a thing. I think a lot of people need to start being comfortable with spending time with ourselves, right, bro? That's important. It can be a little bit scary because you have all these thoughts and uh, things creep up on you. But it's it's healthy. It's very healthy to do that. So um, I hope you can hear me. So basically, that's what I had for to, to, to. That's what I had for today. My advice to you guys because uh, I think I really learned something and I wanted to share it with you. So, um, I hope you try this, uh, I think that you will benefit from it. It's hard, but you got this, we got this, you know what I'm saying, you got this, we got this, we got this, we got this, so we got this, oh my god, what is going on, whatever, listen, we start over, we got this, okay, if you need some advice, you can just, DM me on my Instagram or you can comment in the comment section. I will answer you. Um, so don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you next time.